Hello, my beautiful friends. <laughs> Yarn Hag Ryan, how are you today? All right. Guess what day it is? Today is the day for Yarn Clue. It is my turn for Yarn Clue. Now, if you haven't heard about what that is, Alyssa from Llama Unraveled has got together some content creators to play a fun game, and she's calling it Yarn Clue. So there are clues that I'm going to say throughout my video with you that you'll want to pay attention to um, so that you'll be able to answer the questions and make the guess at the end of the week of Yarn Clue, and that way you can get in for the giveaway. So just pay attention. All right. So if you look at all the links down below, there are other videos that do explain Yarn Clue better than what I do. And there's also other creators that have already gone before me and you need to check out their videos. You got to check out all the videos of the participants so that you'll have answers to all those questions. And then there are going to be some content creators that are going to go after me in the next couple days. So we do have one person every day that is going to be putting out a video and we will all have the same hashtag of Yarn Clue. So if you search that hashtag in your search bar on YouTube, you will be able to find all of these videos. Okay, so I'm a little bit nervous today because I am going to teach you guys how to do my project that I came up with Yarn Clue. So what we are doing is we are uh, making little quick holiday projects that you can make and either use yourself or gift, use for a gift or use around the holidays. But we want them to be quick projects that you can get done in not a lot of time because there's lots of people that you want to give gifts to. So we want to make sure you're able to make several projects or several of the same item and give out to your friends. You want to see what it is? All right. We are going to be making the Hag Stitch Pumpkin. Look how cute it is. Okay, so the camera doesn't do it quite as good of justice because in this Hag Stitch Pumpkin, what we did was we lined the Hag Stitches up, up and down vertically instead of horizontal, instead of diagonally. That way it would give you the lines like a jack-o-lantern. So when you see it in person, you'll be able to tell a little bit better how it does that. Uh, sometimes the camera just doesn't quite do it justice. There's a couple of pointers that I will tell you about because I did have to frog my first project because I had my count off. Don't want to do that. Okay. You guys ready? I'm actually going to show you. Can you believe this? This means that I love Lisa. Okay. Oh yeah, that's her nickname. <laughs> Are you ready? I'm getting up close and personal with you. So when we're making the Hag Stitch Pumpkin, we are only going to make a rectangle and it is a one row repeat. The whole freaking thing. That's it. It's a one row repeat. So as soon as you make your foundation row, you just do the same thing over and over and over. So if you feel like sitting in front of the TV, like I did in my recliner and watch the Chiefs kick butt last week, you totally can. It's the same thing. Every single row. You ready? Okay, so the key to this is you do want your foundation row to be an even number. So basically a multiple of two and then plus one at the end. And that plus one is just your chain up to get you to the next row. So in my demonstration here, I did a chain of 20 plus one so that I could show you how to do the hag stitch. I didn't do a single tutorial for the hag stitch, but I'm going to now. <laughs> okay, I'm coming over. So uh, let's see if this works, okay? I hope you guys are able to see this. Okay, can you see my hands? Are we good? Okay, so let's pretend that we already have our foundation row. Our foundation row can be a, a row of single crochet, a row of double crochet honestly works the best. Um, so if you're going to chain 20 or however many you decide to chain, I need to, I need to interrupt real quick. However many you decide to chain, this thing is going to fold over. This is the width of your pumpkin. So if you only do 20, you're going to have a little tiny pumpkin. Okay. So you're going to want to do more than that. You're going to want to do probably 40, 50, something to that nature. All right. So in this particular one, we're using a chain of 20 because it's easier. All right, so we did a chain of 20 and then I did up one. So let me show you how every single row is going to be after that foundation row. You're going to chain one after you have your even number. 
And in your very first stitch, we're gonna do just a plain half double crochet, just like normal, every single half double crochet, you're gonna go into both of the loops, grab it, come around and go. Now I assume everybody knows how to do a half double crochet, and if you don't, go and check out a video, you guys. So there's our first half double crochet. Now here's where we start the hag stitch. So in our very first stitch, what we wanna do is we wanna go into the back loop only. So looking at the stitch, down here is your third loop in the front. Here is your front loop. And then if you tilt it towards you, that is actually your back loop right there. So this is gonna be a half double crochet in the back loop. That's the first part of the hag stitch. The second part of the hag stitch is we're actually going to go inside of that third front loop, which is right there. So half double crochet in the third front loop. Okay, there it goes, it's there. Now the whole rest of the row, we're just gonna repeat those two stitches again and again and again. So we're gonna do the back loop, that's the back loop only, and then the third loop in the front only, and the next, the back loop only. And then this one is gonna be the third loop in the front. You're gonna do this the entire row until you get to the very end, just changing from the back loop only to the third loop in the front, back and forth, back and forth. And what this does is it pops out that third loop in the front and it recesses the back loop only so that you're giving yourself a nice texture right there. And by us repeating the same row over and over, it's actually gonna give us a little line that builds itself on top of each other and it will give you the ridges just like in a jack-o'-lantern. Super cute. All right, so we're almost to the end of my row here and the very last stitch of the row, if you're using an even number, the stitch before the last is always gonna be in the front loop. And then your very last stitch is always gonna be in both loops, okay? That is literally the whole thing, you guys. That's it, you're gonna do that the entire time. So if you want a really tall pumpkin, just keep doing that over and over and over. Um, that's it, I swear, super, super duper easy, right? Okay, so let me show you um, basically how we uh, finished constructing this. So here's another one of my, one of my things. And what happens by, because you're doing it that way, you can't really see where the seam is. Um, I put a bunch of batting in this and I made this one with a very large hook. You can use any size yarn, basically any size hook, but just know that your batting will show through if you use too large of a hook. So for me on this one right here, this is a, um, this is the Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, and this is using a size five millimeter hook, and it comes out pretty good. You don't see the batting through this, um, and the hag stitches do sit up nicely uh, to where you are getting that texture that you're looking for. This one, I actually used a 6.5 hook so that you can see. But let me find out real quick where I stuck this sucker together. Because of the way that the hag stitches are lining up, you can't tell, but there's actually a seam right here. And on this one, the seam is right here. You guys, it, it like, I mean, not that anybody's gonna look, you could stick it to the back, but I'm telling you, it comes out really nice and you can't tell. So when you get towards the, uh, when you get to the end, what you're gonna do is you're gonna make yourself a seam. You're gonna fold that over and seam it up and then you really just want to um, kind of scrunch the bottom together and scrunch the top together like you would do a beanie. And this is how you do that. You're gonna take a darning needle and you're really, it, it, it honestly, you don't even have to be precise. You just go in and out, okay? It doesn't have to be super close together. It doesn't have to be super far, far, far apart. It can be however, however you want. You're just gonna kind of go in and out 
don't get too picky you guys like this is a quick project it's easy it would be perfect for you to give to one of those like snotty uh i love pumpkin spice girls <laughs> i hate pumpkin spice by the way um anyways with like a little gift card for starbucks for when they come out with their pumpkin spice so you're gonna do this and then if you don't want to have to frog your project you're going to grab whatever it is that you're going to use for your stem. I'm just going to use a pipe cleaner, cleaner. And you're going to get this thing however you want it to look and kind of get it in here before you cinch. Because if you don't, you're going to be cutting. So let's see. There we go. So I'm getting this thing cinched up with my little guy right there. And then all I'm going to do is stitch back and forth back and forth just to secure this you guys it's the easiest thing ever i promise and you can put a little bow on it you can put a little um leaf on the side you know with like a silk leaf or whatever super cute super easy it's gonna look great on your entry table and again it'll look great for a gift so I want to thank you guys for watching the video, for participating in Yarn Clue, and make sure that you look out for the next videos coming up so that you guys can get in on Alyssa at Llama Unravel's um, giveaway. Something else I wanted to tell you real quick. I'm going to post another video tonight that it was trying to upload yesterday. I did open all my birthday gifts, and I want to thank everybody so much, and I'm going to post that video a little bit later. For whatever reason, it did not want to upload yesterday. So everything I said in the video really happened yesterday on my birthday. <laughs> okay? All right. You guys, I love you, and I will see you all soon.